As an entrepreneur, I am continually confronted by small ways in which I don't quite meet my own expectations. This often translates to subtle feelings of guilt or shame or inadequacy or frustration, resentment. In this video, I want to offer a simple technique that I work with to help me navigate this territory, and that is called forgiveness. I love the word forgiveness because within it, it contains forgiving. And there's something about that that speaks to the primal purpose of life, forgiving itself to the rest of life. If you look at creation, you have the sun that gives itself unconditionally to the earth. You have the earth that gives itself unconditionally to the plants and the trees. And you have the plants and the trees that give themselves unconditionally to the animals and the animals that give themselves unconditionally to the humans. If that cycle of life were broken even for one moment, there would be no life. If the sun woke up one day and was like, yo, I'm done. Y'all got to pay me for this energy. Or the earth was like, hey, you need to compensate me for all these resources I'm giving you so abundantly. There would be a serious problem. There would be no life. So there's something about this unconditional giving of oneself that is primal in the nature of life. And where this comes into play in the human experience is really just recognizing that when you feel guilt or shame or some sense of not living up to an expectation or some sense of unworthiness or uh, not being good enough, part of what happens is that you're unable to give yourself. You, you, you become contracted. You become that part of you closes up and becomes withdrawn from the rest of life. Forgiveness is about giving yourself unconditional love, unconditional acceptance of exactly how you are and just recognizing that whatever imperfections you might perceive about yourself, they all exist within a million infinite different ways within which you can understand them within which they can occur to you. You know, you might be creating a particular story about yourself or a situation, but there's an infinite number of perspectives on yourself or that situation to be understood in an infinite, uh, in an infinite timeline of what leads to this particular moment and what that particular moment might, might lead to. So, when there is somewhere where we feel blocked, something that is obviously maybe difficult to forgive, in some ways we're creating this box around that situation through a very specific lens that we're understanding it and preventing uh, the understanding of that situation through a much broader perspective. Forgiveness allows us to just offer unconditional love to ourselves, accepting that we may not understand everything. We may not fully understand ourselves, our gifts, or why things are the way they are, but just accepting that and offering ourselves that unconditional love allows us to offer that unconditional love to other people because, again, we just may not fully understand what's present for them, everything that's happened up to that situation, and what that may ultimately lead to. So forgiveness offers a pathway to being in relationship with life and to living the full expression of life, of just unconditionally giving, unconditionally giving ourselves, unconditionally giving our love, unconditionally being an instrument of life, to allow life to unconditionally give itself through you to the rest of life. All right, I hope that has offered some insight or inspiration if you enjoyed this video, please share with others. If it sparked some kind of uh, reflection, please share it below in the comments. So much love. Thank you for watching.